What is going on, comic fans? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark. Today, I've got a $60 comic book mystery box from Big Time Collectibles. This is a monthly subscriber box, much like other monthly uh, mystery box subscriptions. Big Time Collectibles is a fantastic shop, and they offer this, and there's like, uh, I think there's 500 slots total. Once it fills up, that's all there is. And this one is different than every one they've done before. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Check out the join button, all that good stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you watching the video. This mystery box is definitely different. If you check back to my older videos, and I, I do these once a month. I get it in every single month. $60 shipped, and you get one book that is featured in every single box. It's exclusive just to that box. It's the only way to get it. And then they mix up a variant uh previous books they had and then like some other books that are not exclusive to their shop you get a great variety of stuff and every box without failure so far has been like at least twice the value of what you're paying for it now this month is completely different than everything that they've done before typically they come in one of these as they're completely raw but this month's comes in one of these and what's in here is a cgc graded comic book and I'm excited to see what it is. And uh, I hope I'm opening the correct box. Because full transparency, guys. Because of an error, I actually got two of these in. Now, I've already talked to Nelson. Uh, I'm sending one of them back. So I know that Big Time Collectibles is good at, like, if they get higher than 9.8 grades, they uh, they send them out. Like, So there's a potential, like, that one of these could be a 9.9. .9. I think they even showed off that they had... A couple 9.9s that were going to be included so i hope like one of these isn't and i opened the wrong one but oh well if it is i'll never know because i'm only opening this one the other one's getting sent back to big time collectibles and what's in here packaged amazingly these these shippers are great these little spacers in here comic shield for the win all right so what we have in here is silver surfer ghost light issue number one this is the del auto error edition now, it's an error edition because it is printed a darker than he originally wanted. But they got them slabbed up and they're coming out. The original cover was uh, reprinted in a lighter fashion and sold. It was a sellout cover. It was really cool that they did this with these and uh, did them for these little uh, mystery boxes. But it's just one book, one slab. And you're thinking like, just one slab? It's not a really a mystery box. You knew what you were getting. And that's fair. But, uh, yo, this is actually a really cool cover. Delato is great. Silver Surfer is great. In a 9.8, it's listed as the error on there. And for value-wise, just for context, these things are listed on eBay right now uh, for a lot of money. 135, 149, and I know what you're thinking, but that's listed. That's listed price. What are they selling for? Well, these things are just getting into people's hands, and one already sold today for $154.99. So the last sold on the $60 shipped mystery box is $100 and 54.99 you know fees taxes and all that stuff so definitely well worth the value so that's super dope super awesome uh, i'm definitely definitely down with it uh now i'm not keeping this i'm going to just get this listed over on pops attic definitely won't be listing it for 150 dollars. y'all know how i do things it'll be cheaper than anywhere else you'll be able to find this book the cheapest price out there and yeah it's going to get listed up there so that it can find its forever home because I'm just not trying to hold on to too much stuff right now as a Heroes Con is coming up and I'm looking forward to that. And just as a simple reminder, I'll be posted up at Heroes Con myself. Rob's Fat Sacks of Comics and DJ Links will be there with the Heroes Con um, with the uh, Comics Curing Cancer booth. So be sure to come by there, support the cause. We'll have some awesome stuff you will not want to miss out on. Uh, that's going to be dope. You can follow us on Instagram at Comics Hearing Cancer. But because there's only one book in there, let's go ahead and bust open this other package I got. When did this come in? Uh, the 8th of this month. So uh, this is something I'm excited to open up. This was an exclusive that they did with uh, one of my favorite modern comic cover artists. You already know what time it is. It's that Jane Gang goodness. One of his best properties he works on is Transformers. And, uh, yo, he has this beautiful cover. I can't wait to see it in person. I can't remember what issue it is. Maybe issue seven? Issue six? Let's see. Issue seven. Holy potatoes. Look at that. Issue seven. 
Transformers, the pr uh, brand new series that Daniel Warren Johnson is doing. Just look at the level of detail, mechanics, and machinery that he has going on. The Matrix of Leadership there, dude, that is amazing. And the trade dress version, version absolutely beautiful covers, man. These are amazing. Have you been reading Transformers? If you haven't, you're missing out on greatness, dude. Between Ghost Machine and the Energon universe, those two things have to be like the most exciting things happening in comics right now. Man. But I got one more surprise for you guys. One more. Now, this one's a little goofy. This one, well, not goofy to me, but some people might think it's goofy. My wife doesn't. She, she thinks it's cool, which is why I married her. But I got this thing about picking up this book anytime I seize it. And if you watch my vlog, I post a uh, comic collecting vlog every single Wednesday. And on that vlog, I think it was the last one, maybe two vlogs ago, you saw that GarageCon was back. And I went hunting through a bunch of long boxes, some 50 cent books, and found a bunch of these. And it just made me think I haven't looked on eBay in a while. And I found a lot. And I got these for under a dollar a piece. And whenever I find them, I like to get them, especially for under a dollar a piece. So I managed to get, oh, the front and back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man look at that look at that there's a whole bunch of turok a whole bunch of turok number one the front and back on that one i think there's like 12 in here maybe i'm gonna rebag and board all these and add them to the turok collection i think it, dude it's i got a giant stack of turok i don't know how many i'm up to now i think i'm in i think i fit the 60s i got like 60 something copies now maybe maybe 50 something i don't know i have to do an official count soon but Yo, I love Turok. It was like the first book that my dad ever picked up. And not long ago, he even took the first comic he ever got from the old Dell Comics Turok run. And he got it graded and gave it to me as a uh, birthday present. So it's just it's just such a cool concept. You know, like, dude, when hunting dinosaurs, like, let's go. Like, that's just freaking awesome. I, remember, I still have my Nintendo 64 games. Uh, they're harder to play right now. But I play a lot of the 64 with Finn and... Uh, it's just difficult. <laughs> the mechanics on it are definitely difficult, but it was cool to find these. eBay is always, man, it's always a fun place. I enjoy eBay window shopping most of the time. But when I found these, the dude had a price on it or best offer. I sent him an offer. I think I sent him like uh, an offer of 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. And he immediately accepted it. So I was super happy with it. It was very, very cool of him. Very cool of him. And there was another listing up, like there was an auction up at the time as well for, uh, for a dollar a piece to rocks. I think I, I think I won that bid. I don't remember. So there might be 10 more coming. But yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. So 12 more copies of Turok number one. Fantastic. Super fantastic. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of the idea of just getting that one slab in that mystery box versus an assortment of stuff. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.